up, guys? This is Pyro. Alrighty, so we got Coin Chaser versus Kilohertz. Both Kirby's, I think. Alright, looks like they're good to go. So Kirby Dittos, expect a lot of up tilts, back airs. Are they in the right boards? All right, that's the edge guard situation for, oh, Killer gets back, but not for long. Ooh. Oh, that should be the stock. Kirby did has a lot of just battle of positions. You'll see one Kirby try to get above the other. Um, down air is pretty powerful. Ooh, a mistake by Kilohertz. Down a couple stocks, things a little frazzled. <laughs> There's the DK man, yeah, Davy Jones. Let's uh, try to play some more DK today. Let's see if Killers can bring this back. I mean, Kirby Dittos, it's. You really can't, like, combo the other Kirby to death very easily. It's much more battle of percent than some other matchups. But we'll see what Killers can do. I mean, it's, you can get some pretty quick edge guards here with a nice F smash. Ooh, nice snare to up tilts when he rolls out. F smash. Platforms are definitely dangerous for uh, this matchup for both. Um, well, whoever gets hit, hit on them, Kirby tech's pretty slow. Link the bracket. Uh, I'm not actually sure. It's around here somewhere. Ooh, nice edge guard there. So now, Killer's down to last stock. Um, he had a few quick deaths, I think. Um, you know, I think if this gets the game two, Killers is down, I think I'll probably have a better showing next game. But Coin Chaser is solid. He uh, definitely knows the matchup and very nice, uh, very nice edge guard there to uh, end the stock. So, all right, so we'll see what Killers wants to do. I, I mean, it's a ditto. Unless he feels really comfortable on a different stage, I doubt that he'll uh, he'll switch it up. All right, so he, he switches to Pikachu. Might be good for him. I mean, Pikachu has a lot of tools in his matchup. So Killers really should be trying to DI up in those up tilts. Um, definitely one of the best ways for Pikachu to go, especially since Pikachu can just up B. So you can DI up and also mash B, and he'll probably get out of it. Um, it's nice that... DIing up for Pikachu is pretty free because up B is always an option. You don't have to worry about uh, accidentally jumping. Uh, nice uh, up B to grab the ledge. And uh, does a forward air. I mean, you know, a lot of these players might not be used to doing a lot of smash DI, but looks like it worked out anyway. Ooh, 
nice F smash, and that should be the stock. Ooh, let's Kirby back, get back on. Edge getting Kirby is not that easy, but Pikachu definitely can do it. Um, let's see if he can finish off the stock here. Should be. Ooh, all right. Well, he flubs it with the up air, so not a problem there. Watch for that approach. Whenever Kirby's on the platforms, you'll probably see Kill Hurts do an up air, and just Pikachu's tail is. Uh, I think it's invincible during that, so it's a nice way to approach if you get your t tail above the platform but keep your body below. Ooh, goes for the dash attack, but that might cost an up and miss Z cancel. Goes for the forward air again. Ooh. Oh, that definitely a recoverable trade, but uh, Killer Hurts loses the stock, but he's making a headway back. Let's see what he follows up here with. One quick move should do. I think he was looking for a grab there. There we go. So two stocks apiece. Killer Hurts making a little bit of a comeback here. He's down early, um, but Point Chaser's still ahead here. It looks like he's going to have a hard time getting back. I, I think Killer Hurts definitely should be recovering up more. I mean, it's definitely a nice, uh, better option for Pikachu when you need to get hit or more to the center of the stage. Um, and Kirby can't F smash you, which is you know, one of his strongest moves. Um, so now this is uh, last stock for Killer Hurts before being sent to losers if he, if he loses this. Ooh, very unfortunate club there. It was definitely a forward smash or a down tilt or goes for the shoe break but doesn't get it. Nice. Very quick up air, and we'll see if Kirby gets back here. Ooh, nice recovery, but uh, goes for the back air, misses it. Ooh, looks like Kirby gets back. And looks like Killer Hurts, uh, you know, edge guarding with Pikachu is probably one of the best edge guarders, and uh, going in and do that is pretty crucial. But we got the last stock here. Let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. Nice. Recovery to get back. Reads the tech. Goes for the grab. Ooh, and very nice up smash. And that should be the stock if Killers plays it right, and he does. So, one game apiece. So, back to Dreamland. Same matchup. I think Point Chaser feels like, uh, yeah, it was really close. So I wouldn't be surprised if Going Chaser just thinks that if he just makes a little fewer mistakes that he can uh, he can take it. Um, but I'd watch out for Killer Hurts uh, doing a little better with his edge guards. If he nails just even just a few more of them, just like that, uh, the match can be very different. Um, and looks like he taunts there, tries to get it in his opponent's head. Those F smashes. Oh, it doesn't follow up over the uh, over the F air. I think a lot of things that a lot of Pikachu players, um, especially if you don't you know watch videos of good players, is you never really see them use Nair very much. Um, you know, it's a very good move. Oh, uh, well, there it is. <laughs> but usually, a lot of times, you know, if you're against opponents that start DIing a lot, you really want to use stuff like Nairs and up airs instead of forward airs. He's very close right now. Ooh, and he gets back and possibly could have DI'd that, but he loses the stock. Ooh, nice. Ooh, all right, well, up airs him out. Ooh, and Kirby grabs the ledge, a nice F smash. I think it was a little mistake by uh, Coin Chaser thinking meant to uh, F smash there and said he forward tilted. A nice uh, back air to get around that up tilt. That's the sort of thing that Pikachu can do. Pikachu's back air is a uh, really good move. And another quick stock for Killhurts. So now Coin Chaser is down um, really for the first time this set. And we'll see how he does from behind. A lot of rolls and F smashes. It seems like Killhurts is um, beginning to uh, realize how to outplay him. But you, know, you really have XQL against Kirby um, in order to win a match. So. 
Ooh, definitely goes for forward air and then loses the stock. Of, uh, definitely a flub. Definitely could have been a, uh, a neutral air or an up air. Killers has to be careful here. He's, uh, he's behind now. I think he's being a little bit aggressive here. And uh, Quinn Chase just seems to be able to capitalize on, uh, on his mistakes. And he goes up. That's good. Uh, Kirby can't do anything there. Ooh, and he baits the drop and goes for the F smash. So again, last talk for Kilohertz. He's got to play this very carefully. Nice, nice back airs. And uh, we'll see. Point chase in the back. Ooh, goes for the early up B and grabs Kilohertz. Um, I think Kilohertz definitely needs to just go out and uh, stop letting Kirby get so close. But either way, this is the last stock here. Both players. Ooh, gets to the up tilt. Ooh, and uh, Point Chase has been good about that. You know, um, Pikachu's not the fastest character. He drops down from platforms. Can't really do too much. And that's the... That's the set. Very close. Um, Coin Chaser takes it 2 1. So, very solid set. Good, good play by both players.